और कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे पूरा सत्यानाश हो गया लेडीज एंड जेंटमेन टुडे वर गोना बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द जी टी ए शेख द गेम दैट वी मे और मे नॉट गेट इन ओवर लाइफ टाइम and there's a reason why i'm saying this right because everybody's like freaking out about gta 6 right now because take 2 and rockstar they officially did release some information and it looks like that it is it can get delayed guys like this video subscribe if you don't want the game getting delayed and check this rockstar is seeking perfection with gta 6 the game will only release when that standard is met the first questions that came to i truly hope that they are not talking about when the shark card system is perfect my mind like is what is the current state of the game how much is left to be done Yeah. And will Rockstar manage to finish the game by early 2025? Of mm. course, I am very happy that Rockstar wants to deliver us a full value product that yeah. we all expect. Because yeah. it cannot be denied that in the video game industry, there have been frequent mishaps lately, and games are often yeah, It's like 9 out of 10 games that are coming out nowadays uh they're just not satisfying and most of them are incomplete at launch and they're like it's live service we're going to drop content later on so that's what i agree with filled with errors and so on as for rockstar's productions the definitive edition of gta trilogy was quite a disappointment but it's worth mentioning that the work on the game was outsourced to grove street games Man. and it's their fault that the games looked and performed so poorly to be honest though like i still did enjoy my time playing this game but objectively speaking bro like oh, hell no nah, bro <laughs> Hell no. Launch. I believe that Rockstar will not want to make this mistake again and not release a game that is not finished and perfect. But I have high hopes that this will not significantly affect the release date of the game. And there's a rumor that GTA 6 is almost finished because yeah. according to the latest Rockstar's job listings, the studio is looking for localization testers. So, if you wonder why it might be in the final stages of development, it's because localization testers play a crucial role in the game development process, mm. especially towards the end, as they are responsible for ensuring that all in game but almost finished guys um, don't get me wrong but almost finished for rockstar games is still not finished okay oh, check oh, this out so rockstar they did their take to live stream which i obviously have done on the channel as well and during that they instead of saying like fiscal 2025 for gta 6 you can see and this is official by the way this is no cap as the kids says nowadays okay uh, it's stop the cap it's no cap okay so take to release their earnings and during that you can see like this game tails of the shires coming out in fiscal 2025 which we all want we all really want GTA 6 to also come out in fiscal 2025 but this is calendar 2025 oh, which means the game can come out in january february march april june july may august uh, september october december <laughs> did i put may before that month maybe but but you know what i mean right like it's uh game content such as scripts user interface elements and screen pop-ups are accurately translated and culturally appropriate for different regions and languages rockstar is hiring for these positions across multiple languages including spanish latin american brazilian portuguese French, German, Italian, the Spanish, français. and traditional Chinese. Moreover, the job uh, it it got to have the France in ko na yaar ye Urdu bhi dalni chahiye na jaise banda kabhi walk kar raha hai GTA 6 mein kisi bhadwe ko dekh liya jo keh raha hai meri gaand mein kharish ho rahi hai main zara gaand mein ungli kar leta hu I, I want to hear some like that in G I, I actually don't want to hear that descriptions mention responsibilities yeah. like providing development support localization consulting proofreading translated texts performing localization quality assurance, insurance and ensuring compliance with first party terminology and brand guidelines the mention of working closely with development teams during the internationalization and localization phases suggests that the core content of the game including scripts and ui elements is likely complete the I focus so, now though. seems to be on polishing the game i mean it better be it better be complete by now it better they better be in the polishing stage because rockstar polishing their games it's it takes decades for them to polish their games bro i don't want them to be stuck in polishing stage for like 2 3 years dog like to ensure that the final product meets the high quality standards expected from a Rockstar release. Yeah. But of course, all this is just our speculation yep, as Rockstar yep, could yep. just as well be hiring for work on another project. However, there is a good chance that we will learn more about GTA 6 in May 2024 because that is when Take 2 has yep. announced a full fiscal 2020. Yeah, during their stream they did say that uh, I was actually that's actually facts though. Like I was watching that in a stream and those of you that came on the stream, they did say in their next call which is going to be in May, I will surely live stream so if you're brand new definitely subscribe uh, leave a like let me send you some kisses no homo but if you're a chick watching this i cannot say no homo though if you're a chick watching i cannot say no homo though i'm i'm just joking around but 
2025 pipeline breakdown. Who knows? This might coincide with the release of the second trailer for the upcoming GTA. The GTA 6 trailer broke YouTube's records for the most viewed non-music video launch, reaching 93 million views in 24 hours. So it's Crazy. the most viewed video game reveal and the most viewed non-music YouTube video in 24 hours, and also Damn. the most liked video game trailer on YouTube. It's approaching like 200 million by this time, and I dead ass want to see like a lot of variety in like planes, especially like military jets uh, in GTA 6. Like the video if you actually agree, because I feel like the variety wasn't there in GTA 5, but listen man, do you want like GTA 4 no planes, or do you want GTA 5 with? Uh, still like a lot of planes i would go with gta 500 but gta 6 needs to up the the variety and the quality and also uh, be because gta 5 is such a it's a, it's that game that came out on the ps3 right oh shit oh, yeah shit. that that's the craziest part this game came out on ps3 and uh, they you cannot go that fast with planes because of the draw distance with the memory and all that crap because it's rendering the game in real time too right i i hope they figure out a way to for the render distance to be increased and our ability to fly the planes a little bit faster because it's always feels like slow when you're flying a plane in gta uh maybe for me because I, i've been playing microsoft flight simulator YouTube, recently with 8.9 million likes in 24 hours the company is enthused and excited by the reception but that's not the only record broken by rockstar the first record to be broken comes from the tweet announcing gta 6 trailer reveal it garnered a staggering 1.8 million likes within just 24 hours this uh -huh. made rockstar's tweet the most liked game related tweet in the entire history of twitter giving yeah. a perfect example of just how excited we all are about its release alongside take two's earnings report, CEO Strauss Zelnick revealed his thoughts on the trailer leak less than 24 hours before its scheduled premiere, leading to Rockstar. Isn't that crazy that like the game, uh, you know, it was this was supposed to be the most secretive game on the face of this planet. Even the aliens did not know like this game was coming out. Even the Alamos were like, <laughs> let me see the GTA 6. And then, you know, that that uh, I believe that Orion, 16 year old hacker comes out, leaks the game in September of 2022. OK, that happens. Then, like approximately like seven days before the trailer goes live, Rockstar director, I believe, uh, Aaron Garbutt, yeah, Aaron Garbutt, his son allegedly leaked some part of GTA 6 to his friend, so his friend decides to leak it seven days, uh, like a week before, right, right. Give, give or take, before the trailer. Then, a day before the trailer comes out, some, some second, like, leaked the entirety of the Lucia Bruna and the leak, like, leaked the gameplay trailer, or just the trailer. Like, Star wild, officially man. posting the trailer on YouTube early. Zelnick said that while it was disappointing that the trailer was leaked before Rockstar could officially reveal it to the world, yeah. he does not believe it hurt the development team. He it also explained to IGN, It's amazing when the trailer announcement is huge news, and then we were very gratified when the trailer broke the internet, so we couldn't be happier or more excited. While mm -hmm. Zelnick is very relaxed about the leak today, this is far from the immediate reaction that most of the development team had soon after the event. Back in December, several GTA 6 developers developers demonstrated frustration about the leak, especially considering it was the culmination of several years of work, and they could not- Yeah, I, I mean, I feel for the devs, uh, listen man, I, I totally, like, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, yeah, I mean, I hate the leaks, no, I actually love the leaks when it comes down to, like, information, oh hell yeah, like, we want information, I also love the leaks when it's, it's like, small gameplay, like, I don't, surely, I don't want, even if I want or not, it's not gonna change anything, even if you want or not want, it's not gonna change anything, but, like, but I do agree with the fact that, like, y'all suck is, and I'm not saying you guys watching, I'm talking about people that actually leak stuff, the hackers, right? Like, guys, like, come on, man, especially for a game like Wolverine, right? Like, uh, employees' information gets leaked out, their BBC got leaked Bruh. out too, right? Their passport stuff, then some sucker leaked, like, the entirety of Wolverine demo, and suckers are able to play that, that's, like, way too far, that's, like, wild out there. And GTA 6 with, like, 100 <laughs> with 90 gameplay videos, that gave us a lot of content, I, I'm not gonna deny that, and for a game like GTA 6, I don't think it harmed it, uh, I think it just uh, upped the hype, so I didn't mind that to be honest though, Bruh. but I understand where the devs were coming from, but especially like a leak that happened a day before, you, yeah, right, like, we couldn't wait one day, you're telling me that Yalsikas couldn't wait one day, Yalsikas couldn't wait one day, bruh? 
they could, uh, yeah, that part I, I understand, like, it could be frustrating for the devs, and, and surely, like, a lot of YouTubers, myself included, wanted to stream that, so, yeah, you know, I like, couldn't stream it, guys, couldn't stream, could not stream, could not stream the reveal event, so it was, like, a little bit disappointing in that aspect, but all in all, we all wanted the trailer, and we done get it, though. It was leaked, but then Rockstar decided to drop it a day early, and nonetheless, it was exciting, but but I, I understand where the devs are coming for. I prepare for sure. properly Chrome, to for commemorate sure. this important moment. Next up, the company reported that GTA 5 has now sold over 195 million units, Damn. while the GTA series has sold a total of over 420 million. This means that since its last earnings call in November, GTA 5 has sold an additional 5 million, 5 million. copies. Damn. And it looks like the whole GTA franchise. Yo, can a brother get two pennies? That's all I'm asking, man. That's franchise has tough, sold bro. more copies than there are people in the United States and Canada combined. I do think that excitement around GTA 6 has had a halo effect on the entire franchise, yep, Zelnik yep. said during the call. Yep. If you want to replay GTA 5 before the next GTA comes out, I really recommend trying out the Chromatics graphics mod. I've been supporting their work for a long time, and they have made huge progress and significantly improved the game's graphics. Oh, like I, I'm, a, I'm a noob when it comes to like PC modding and crap. Like a long time ago, like I was able to do it with GTA 4 by watching YouTube tutorials. <laughs> I went on, over on YouTube, watch a YouTube tutorial, ends up installing like a real life realistic kind of mod with gta 4 and i had uh, even then i had rtx 3090 but the game was like bugging i what i from what i'm hearing and from what i heard gta 4 is like very very bad like the port is very bad for pc it's not awful uh but it's bad you know i'll like, drop a link in the description down below for take a look at it because PC. i think it's criminally underrated it's fps friendly even though it adds realistic dynamic lighting yeah. that enhances every weather condition and also brand new vegetation inspired by real life locations yep, new yep. road textures the fancy on and recently we had like a massive leak that just happened for gta 6 click on this video on the screen check it out we were talking about gta 6 online as well some stuff for the gta 6 gameplay and a lot of that stuff check it out and i'll see you right there